Today I'm going to show you guys how you can use one brush, the F14, F15 by Blank Canvas Cosmetics, double-ended brush. So one brush, which is two technically, but it's still one brush, to do your contour, your blush, your bronzer, your highlight, your setting powder. There's another one and I'm forgetting it. Bronzer, setting powder, baking powder, highlight, contour. Is that it? Why do I find it so hard to list all of these things? Basically, all those things you put on your face using one brush. I talked about this over on the Blank Canvas Instagram page because I'm a brand ambassador. And then I was like, no, I want to share it with you guys as well. Seriously cut down the amount of time that it takes me to do my regular makeup using this brush. I also have a particular routine in a particular order that I like to do in order for it to be so much easier and so much quicker on your face. So if you're interested, in that then keep watching because that's what we're gonna do today for those of you who don't know me my name is Sinead most of you will be used to just seeing a close-up of one of my eyes but I actually have two eyes and a face so hi let's jump in to how to use this one side is more curved and then the other side is more like tapered so it's gonna get into like all those little areas on your face and they can be used in lots of different ways and it's also your personal preference I might use this side for my bronzer but you might prefer using this side for your bronzer it's totally up to you and you can kind of mix and match I'll explain as we kind of get into it so for this you are gonna need a setting powder sort of lighter powder for your skin which we're gonna fake bake with your bronzer which should be one shade darker than your skin tone with maybe like a slight glow or warm to it. You're also going to need a blush, a highlighter, and highlighter for me is anything that has like a shimmery kind of glow to it. And then contour, which I actually haven't done my contour yet because I want to show you guys how you can mix up a contour shade in order to make it work for you because it's really hard to find a good contour. So we're going to set my foundation that I have by pushing a little bit of that translucent powder into the skin. It's also great if you have large pores because it's going to minimize any of that. It's going to give you a nice matte look through the center, through the T-zone, but that's totally personal preference. So we're going to start off with this side. This is the F14 side. So when we're doing this, we're going to do like a woodpecker type motion where we're pushing the product in. I don't want to see any of this though. Don't be pushing it too far into the skin. It's literally just a tapping motion. And once you feel the resistance, that's all you need to feel. Not this, just this. If a powder puff and a brush had like a baby, they'd end up with this. It's really soft and smooth and it's going to push those products into the skin. Now we're going to move on to bronzer. Bronzer is very similar to like where the sun would hit your skin. So I just allow the brush to work over my skin, over my nose, my forehead, and it will just catch the areas that I want the bronzer to be on. So you don't need to know like your face shape or anything like that. Just use the brush and just very lightly glide it over and it will just catch those like little high points on your face. Same even if you're doing it on your jawline, I kind of just work it over my jawline, letting it just kind of glide. Just allow your face shape to kind of catch the brush instead. And that's why it's really important to make sure you're holding the brush correctly and not doing any of this kind of pushing motion. Just allow the brush to glide over the skin and it will just catch where it needs to catch. So I work that all over my forehead, across the cheeks, the nose, a little bit on the jawline. You can bring it down your neck as well and a little bit on the chin. So that is our bronzer done. At this point, I would typically then do contour, but I actually didn't do it because I wanna talk you through that at the end of the video. Now we're gonna move on to this side, which is the F14 side. This is the tapered side, the red side, and it's great for getting into any of those little areas underneath the eyes, alongside your nose. I also like it for fake baking. For those of you who don't know, baking is basically applying a lot of powder onto the skin, leaving it to sit or like bake, and then you kind of brush it off and get like a really clean, crisp line. I just find for my skin, because it's so dry, I can't do that. So I take a slightly lighter powder that's pressed. Loose powder is a lot more drying than pressed powder because there's still moisture in the pressing process compared to the loose powders. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a lighter shade of a pressed powder and I work this right underneath where my contour is. I also use it alongside the edge of my nose and that way it kind of creates the illusion of a thinner nose because you're kind of blending your nose into your cheek, if that makes sense. So I just apply it a little bit on the edge and also also on the edge of the eye and this will lift the eye shape as well. Once it's on there, I literally then just brush it away immediately because my skin is too dry for allowing that kind of baking or you know, setting process. So I like to just instantly brush it away and you'll end up with a nice clean, sharp line. Now we're gonna move on to our highlight. So our highlight and our contour are best buddies. Your bronzer gives you kind of that glow and then the highlight goes in there and just adds like a little pop in certain areas. Don't be applying, you know, highlight everywhere. Just pinpoint it because otherwise it's, it kind of defeats the purpose. Like highlight should just catch the light, just like bounce. So I kind of tilt my head and I kind of see where the light kind of hits my skin. We're just gonna apply it a little bit 
it here and just see where this kind of light kind of hits our face maybe above the brow a little bit on the nose i only like to do like up here i don't like to do the tip of my nose but that's totally fine maybe something on the cupid's bow the chin then i'm going to move on to blush now you can use either side for blush some people like using the rounder side and they like doing you know the apples of their cheek i actually like to create more of a lifted appearance and so for me i use the tapered side also it's red so i'm like blush i i gotta i gotta use it for blush so i take a little bit of my blush don't worry if there's a bit of highlight on there that's totally fine if you're bothered about it you can always just brush it off in your hand or even onto a tissue but i just find that it works and blends everything together so i take a little bit of my blush and i apply it quite high up onto my cheeks and then i blend it downward now it also depends on how you're holding the brush so i like to keep it kind of flat against my skin so i'm not kind of coming in like this i kind of keep it flat however if i'm using this side keep my hand a little higher and i will brush it over like this remembering to keep at least a brush length away though that's really important you don't want to bring your blush all the way in here we're going to move on to contour first of all i just want to show you guys how i like to mix up a contour because i find it really hard to find the the right shade basically you just want something with like a shadow for shadow it needs to have almost that gray appearance so what i like to do is i take my bronzer it has to be a matte bronzer by the way so i take my bronzer and then i take an eyeshadow that's got like a purpley gray tone also has to be matte kind of mix the two of them up on the back of my hand and that way i get kind of a shadowy appearance with a bronzer and you can use either side so you can use the side the red side that you applied your blush with but you should probably do this before blush or you can use a rounder side I actually like using this side and I take a little bit of my kind of you know me and I push upwards and then blend it so I kind of feel for where that hollow is and I push upwards and blend it over my cheek if that makes sense so it's kind of blending over like this use this side take a little bit of your mixture and then just glide it in to that area and because it's so tapered it will catch it and that way we'll get that nice sharp line but because this is so feathery and soft it's going to blend as you're applying it which i really like as well but i still personally prefer using this side Hi. davy's here you're going to demonstrate how easy it is to use this okay yeah like this? That's perfect. See, That's I'm, 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 already there. I'm already there. This is Davy's hand. I'm gonna get him to show you how easy it is to actually use this. Hold it like a pencil. Have this tilted back a little bit so it's like resting here and that's gonna give you more control. Move your wrist when you're actually applying it. So we're gonna take the rounder side. We're gonna pick up a little bit of bronzer. When we we're applying bronzer, we we're gonna let it kind of glide over the skin and it's just gonna catch certain areas and like work upwards up here. Ooh. Might give up the music for this. I know, little circles. Working up. Yeah. And then you can work over the nose. Same thing again? Mm hmm And then on this side too. Does it matter that I'm going it counterclockwise in circles? Yes, it should also be in a... No. It's a bit late now. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. Like this? Yeah, that's really good for you. Yeah, get a bit. Red side, we're going to take a little bit. More highlight. With highlight, it works with the bronzer. So you see where the light hits my skin? Mm hmm Tap it where the most amount of light is hitting my skin. Okay. Okay. If there's anywhere on my forehead where the light's hitting. See, this is gonna look absolutely terrible. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Just wanna avoid the middle though, because you don't oh, wanna shine okay. here. So you can do it here, but you can't do it here. So then, and then do this. Thing. That bit's in the shade. I'll move my face for you. I'm a professional here. Come I, on. Know, I know, I Can't work with this. <laughs> it's really easy to use though, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. If I can use it, anyone can, can use it. it. <laughs> That's the tagline. Yeah. <laughs> so that is, um... <laughs> That's how to apply blush, bronzer, contour, highlight, um, powder. All those things that you put on your face using just one brush. Go and give it a good clean. It'll take you like 30 seconds. Put it in some water, put it in some soap, rinse it, leave it dry. By tomorrow, it's ready to be used again. I mean, it did so much work for you, so why not, you know, treat it to a nice little little wash and set. If you are over on the group chat, we just want to say bye. Davey, Davey, it gets to actually say bye to everybody. If you want to be part of the group chat, we just do like, um, a premiere and then you can just it's like somewhere up here and you just talk as as the video goes live we just want to say thanks to everybody for being so nice every time we go live and we love chatting to you guys we're gonna try and do a live video soon yes try to do a live stream soon yeah we're work in progress nearly there though we'll talk to you really soon bye guys everyone like and subscribe to the channel yay and leave nice comments if you can please Aww. and share it with your friends <laughs> so cool. bye i hope that was recorded